Okay, ladies and gents. The unique thing about creating a trust, and this is what most people don't get. There must be a grantor, the person who wrote it, who's in charge of it, who created it. The grantor is the creator, i.e. Jehovah. The original trust was the trust between man, the earth, Jehovah, and his son, Christ Jesus. Jehovah was the grantor. Jesus was the beneficiary. Man was to cultivate the earth, take care of it. They were the trustees. That's where you get the whole trust relationship from. So if you didn't know that, if you didn't know that trust come from scripture, then you need to understand that's the common law foundation of trust. The courts didn't create it. The Romans didn't create it. The British didn't create it. Ladies and gentlemen, it was created by the one who refers to himself as the creator. Now, if you don't know about it, go back, read Genesis, the first chapter, verse 26 through 28. You will hear the words, let us, more than one person, create man, a third person, in our image. And let him have in subjection, now a duty, the fish of the sea, the flying creatures of the heavens, and every living thing that moves up on the surface of the earth. He was to cultivate the earth and make it into a garden, paradise, Eden, throughout. There's your trust agreement. Jesus being the beneficiary. Remember, all things were created for him, by him, and through him. And nothing came into existence aside from him. Beneficiary. Ta-da! So there's your trust agreement. Now, it doesn't matter whether you believe it or not, people. It matters is that's where it comes from. I keep telling you guys, you got to go to the source. If you don't understand the source, and if you refuse to go to the source and take the source for what it is, foundation, that's on you. Que sera, sera. I mean, que sera, que sera. Lisa, Lisa, Coach Jam. All right, now that we got that taken care of, this is our section that we're about to read right now for y'all. So that y'all under because there's something y'all need to understand because I don't think y'all get it. I don't think y'all understand it. Hold on, let's see if it's gonna play. The trustee, grantor, or beneficiary of this trust are prohibited from divulging any of the particulars of the trust. Divulging the particulars of the trust will result in an automatic breach of trust. Any attempt to force any of the parties to the trust to divulge the particulars of the trust shall be considered a violation of the right to contract clause of the Constitution and will damage the trust in the trust res, resulting in malfeasance on the part of the party holdings. Hold on, got to correct that right there. They know it's supposed to be and. Sorry, I guess I spoke it with the voice recognition. Okay, and the trust res, meaning property. Hold on. And the trust res, resulting in malfeasance on the part of the party holding such information. This trust, in its common law private nature, is not designed nor structured for violating any law, evading any obligation, and slash or duty cognizable by the Constitution for the United States of America, the common law for the United States of America and slash or the laws of the United States of America. Statutes are prima facie, meaning that they are not law, and this presumption remains rebuttable indefinitely, and as such, presumption is to a violation of a statute and slash or revised statute and slash or a code and slash or a regulation and slash or an ordinance does not result in the compelling of any party to violate the terms of this agreement. As noted above, the creation of this trust is a direct result of the New Deal evidenced by Presidential Proclamation 2039 and the National Emergency Economic Banking Relief Act of March 9, 1933 and the associated congressional record of the aforementioned act and date, creating a special relationship trust. Did you not know that the whole New Deal was an agreement, a trust agreement? If you don't believe me, go back and look at the New Deal. Look at why it was structured. Look at what FDR said. Ladies and gentlemen, they created the trust then. But y'all are not paying attention. I said foundation. When they created that trust, it was known as a special relationship trust. Why? Because originally it was a public trust. But when they had everybody in the nation, individuals, corporations, and partnerships, give up the gold, it became a special relationship trust. Individualized. Because they had to each individually give up their gold and not as a group. Ta-da! So they created a special relationship trust, right? Well, based on that special relationship trust, they had obligational duties. That's why all of your papers became obligations of the United States. Whew! So glad I got that out. No, 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 no. See, that's the basis and premise for this. Please understand. 
that I'm not just creating this because I just want to create more paper. I'm creating this to be impenetrable. Okay? If you go back over this paragraph right here, you'll start to see how that works out. Yeah, 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 yeah. A lot of people are going to be biting off of it, and I don't care. It's just that with the God that I serve, it started here first. Okay? Nobody else has done this. We even talking about the age of the majority. And the express trust created as a result of the age of the majority act. Like I said, we got a whole lot going on here, people. Oh, by the way, this trust agreement... Y'all, if you don't know what you're doing, don't pay for this agreement. That'll be a waste of your money. This is only for people who understand trust and who know what a trust is and who understand what this particular trust is designed to do. Protect you and your assets indefinitely. Just put a song up on YouTube. The song is explaining it's not your property. Your driver's license, not your property, people. Your social security card, that's not yours. It's not your property. It says right on here, on the, on the signature line, blow it up and see it for real. It says property of the Social Security Administration. Your driver's license is the property of the DMV. That's why the police take it and they return it back to the DMV. That's why the DMV can revoke it. Take it away from you. That's why the police can take it away from you. That's why you got to show it to the police upon request. That's not your property. That's not you. That's their property. Okay. So when you are operating in commerce, because it's for commercial purposes, don't you get it? <laughs> That's why you got to be licensed. It's for commercial purposes. Congress doesn't get to regulate private. That's why this is a private trust, private agreement. Oh, wait till you see the instruments that are, are embedded in the agreement. Now, this trust, your trust, you never show to anybody. I, I'm private trust, don't you? That's what this paragraph, this is a confidentiality paragraph. You don't show it to nobody. You'll show the declaration of trust, which will incorporate some of this information, and you will show the certificate of trust, but you will never show either the micro trust or the mega trust to a single soul ever, 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 ever. Hold on now. Let me make sure those of you who are going to have this, there are at least 30 parties that this goes to. That's right. You're going to have to send a certified mail. Uh-uh. Mm -mm, can't get around it. Signature confirmation. Can't get around it. You can do priority mail signature confirmation, but one way or another, you got to get the signature of somebody receiving it. Okay? Just that simple. By the way, pay attention. $100 million times the 20 or more parties? Pay attention. Multiply 100 million by 20. You follow me? I just want to make sure y'all understand what we're talking about here. That's right. That's two billion, right? And that's two instruments, two billion. That's what you're doing. Interesting, huh? And they're instruments that are obligations of the United States under the March 9, 1933 Act. And because they're instruments, whoo they don't pay. You write it off as a debt. See, that's what you guys are not getting. Write off all of your debts, people. Write it off as a debt between you and the U.S. government. Nobody can stop you because now you got proof. But what is the evidence of the bond? Well, for those who, there will be two packages. There will be this basic package, and then there will be the one where you actually have an instrument that has a value, that has a bond. See, this instrument right here is a bond in and of itself. That's right. It's a bond. That's why it's structured the way it's structured. Ta-da! But not just any bond. So I can't go into all the details because, again, people are going to be trying to duplicate this, and there are certain provisions we can't tell you about. What, what, wait, 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 what you mean you can't tell me about? Because those are in-house provisions. You see, this is to keep people from duplicating this process. They can duplicate this stuff right here. This is okay. This is just a regular bond. I mean, it's got all of the things they need to add to theirs, the ones who are going to try to duplicate it. But as far as the special provisions, whoo -wee, the one that's going to make this have its actual value more so than the regular mediocre value. Okay, that's what we're working on in the background. So you're just going to have to pay attention. You're going to have to understand that this is 7 o'clock in the evening. I've been working on this stuff and making sure the ironcladness of it making sure that there are no loopholes, no ambiguities, making sure that nobody can come in 
Whew, and that's a lot of work, trust me. So it'll be about another two weeks before this is done. So don't be contacting nobody. Some of y'all been contacting SATCOM and you've been contacting the other organizations. This ain't theirs, so y'all need to stop. I'm just giving you guys, because I'm donating this to them. SATCOM, this going to be theirs eventually, but they don't know the details of this. So y'all need to stop. When I say don't do it, y'all better be glad. I was nice, because all of you who has gone out of your way, not paying attention, you don't need this right here. You'll only cause damage to yourself and to the trust. So, you know, if it happens again, I'm just going to start excommunicating y'all. I'm not joking. This is not something to play with. The other trust, yeah, you could deposit them in your court case and all that because they were designed. They weren't, they, they weren't designed to be like this one. This one says divulging any particulars of the trust. You can only divulge it to the parties. And there are there's a difference between fiduciaries and trustees in this trust. You have to send a copy to all of the fiduciaries. That's right. There's a list. That's how you increase the value of the trust. Hey, I didn't do it. Y'all doing it. Y'all ask, and we're providing it. Okay? This is called the Mega International Trust Pack. MIT Pack. Okay? Mega International Trust Pack. MIT Pack. I didn't look just gave it the name and the MIT part just came as a result of giving it the name that it actually is Remember you are not part of the United States. You never were you never will be part of the United States your Estate is part of the United States your trust is part of the United States. You are not part of the United States You are a foreign jurisdiction to the United States. That's why they don't really have a hold on you okay you are foreign to the united states you've always been that's why they give you an id with the all capitalized name indicating a juristic person look up the word juristic or persona fictio f-i-t uh, f-i-c-t-i-o persona fictio or legal person Look up those three things and see that that's not you. That all caps name is all of those things. It's not you. The all caps name is an instrumentality of the United States. It's their property. It's not you. Okay? Y'all need to understand it's called usufruct. F-R-U-C-T. Real simple. Usufruct. Go look it up. Hey, G, uh, what's his name? Um... Dean Clifford, Dean Clifford, Dean Clifford. Sorry, Dean. I, I ain't said his name in a while, but Dean Clifford. He talked to y'all about Yusuf Rucked all the time. Man, go watch his videos. Dean Clifford, go watch his videos. That's all he talked about. I, I know they did his videos the same as they did mine. Taking them offline, taking them off the internet. Look, ladies and gentlemen, they have taken over 10,000 videos down that I put up on the internet. 10,000 videos today. To this day, over 10,000 videos gone. Gone. Hey, not my fault. I just put the information out there. That's why I say seven days a week, over 200 hours a month. Is it worth it? Will you guys actually take the time to do something with it? Or will you just, oh, that's just some wonderful information you're putting out and going on about your business? All right, look. Just wanted to give you guys an update as to what's going on. I got to go lay down. This is this is exhausting right here. And I can't rush it. There are 42 pages right here. I'm only on page 8. I've already done the whole thing once. Now I'm doing it again. Why? Because I got to make sure everything is what everything is. Okie dokie. I got to make sure ain't no loopy me holes. I got to make sure ain't no amamagumamati. Remember, this has an arbitration clause. Go back and take a look at who started doing trust agreements with arbitration clauses before us. Go. I dare you. Mm-hmm. So, ladies and gentlemen, right now, temporarily, the arbitration clause will include the Eon Foundation because many of you won't know what to do with that section. You can always change it when you get it those of you who get this program. 
this program is limited. We will not be maintaining this program for two, three years, six months, uh, nine months or anything like that. I think we're going to put an eight month moratorium on it that we're only going to offer it for eight months and then we're going to move on to something else. Why? Because we don't want to proliferate it. We, we want to keep our trust always, the trust and the PACs limited. That's been the idea. We don't want it to lose its value. And again, like I said, there are going to be many people who are just going to order it so they can copy what's being done. And we understand that, but they won't be able to copy the other aspects we're doing in the background. Remember, the mega trust, the mega trust is you. But the grantor who created it is not you. Now, you are going to be responsible for the mega trust and the wording and everything after we give it to you, but there's a clause in here that says you can't alter certain things on purpose. Now, I want you to follow me. The amount of the instruments, I got to say that correctly, instruments embedded in the document, you can't alter the amount, not even by a cent. If you do that, it automatically cancels the agreement. Doesn't matter if you change things and rearrange the wording and say, well, now it does include it. You won't be able to do that because the agreement when you receive it is that you will not change the dollar amount. Yeah, that's right. We put that clause in there on purpose because we know some of y'all be out there a little taking that little, you know, sippity sip of that suppity sup and getting yourselves <clears throat> upped. And you're what I said, because y'all be on something, either y'all on crack or something. Y'all just sit up there and write any number on there thinking that there's a such thing as a quadzillion, quadbillion, quadtrillion dollars. I don't know what's wrong with some of you. So... The dollar amount, it's etched in stone. You cannot change the dollar amount. If you want to change the dollar amount, you get an agreement from someone else. You won't be allowed to take this agreement, pay attention, copy it, and then alter it. You will invalidate the agreement. Please understand, that's why the clause is put in there. Etched in stone. That's what we had to do. We had to make it, un uh, we had to make it unambiguous so that nobody could think they could come in. Oh, I, I got to highlight this before I forget. OK, so that nobody could come in here and just change everything, because that's what people like to do. They like to take something and make it theirs. OK, this ain't that type of party, y'all. Y'all don't get to take this and make it y'alls. See, y'all don't get to take this and change the dollar amount. Many of you are going to want to change the dollar amount, but you don't get to change the dollar amount. <sighs> it, it no, it took me about five days to come up with that to figure out a way of how to do it to where even if you tried, it won't work, that it'll invalidate the whole Newton caboodle. And that's what we did. Okay? It just it had to be done. It had to be done. It had to be you. All right, I gotta go. You can tell I'm tired. I've been doing them songs all day. I did like three songs in a row. And so, and taking care of some other paperwork earlier today, and then going to my kingdom and halls. And so, you know, I take care of my business. That's what I've been, business, business. All right, got to go. Y'all take care. Have a Riva Dirty, whatever that is.